Lyson frequently asked questions three, continuous ink system fault finding. Over the past 10 years, Lyson have provided thousands of photographers worldwide, both professional and enthusiast, with professional standard ink sets at a fraction of the cost of the brand inks supplied in bottles which contain in many more times uh, uh, the ink than the thimbleful of ink which you find in a pre-filled cartridge. In addition, you don't throw away any ink during cartridge changeover because you don't change the cartridges. Providing inks in bottle form means to say that you can use a delivery system which continually tops up the cartridges inside the printer supplied with ink from an external reservoir uh, supplied via flexible tubes. This provides a continuous flow of ink to our printer transforming it into a high production device which is capable of long print runs without interruptions for changing cartridges. Generally, continuous inking systems provide good reliability over many years. With occasional regular maintenance, your CIS system should outlast your printer. Now, the usual telltale signs of trouble are when we experience horizontal printer banding uh, or incorrect colours. Now, this is, uh, this is the standard uh, image that, that, we, uh, that we work with. It's the industry standard. And you can download this standard image from www.marit.com forward slash print dot php. And we use this with the kind permission of Tony Riley, whose, uh, whose own uh, um, website is www.imageplace.co.uk an excellent tutorial website with a lot of a lot of good information there now getting back to the image itself this is the perfect print and we're doing a we're doing a run and now we see we've got a problem here now we can see um, little bands now let's bring this print closer to the camera so that you can actually see the you can actually see the offending bands now in this particular case, we've simply turned off one of the channels to illustrate uh, um, uh, the, 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 the danger signs. And you can see the colours have all gone. There's, 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 uh, there's no real definition of the print at all. We can actually see, see the problems occurring. So this is the danger sign. Now the obvious advice here is do not ignore these signs run through this simple fault finding guide the moment you experience any problem and if these steps fail to resolve the issue contact us straight away even if your CIS system is from another supplier we're very friendly with all our fellow UK ink and CIS suppliers and are always happy to help out photographers using whatever brand of ink and delivery system now let's show you let's show you an example of our of our, our nozzle checks. Now the thing to do is to perform a nozzle check printout, do one head clean, then perform another nozzle check printout, do another head clean, and then perform the final nozzle check printout. Mark each of these nozzle checks, one, two, and three. Now put the, put the, uh, um, put the, uh, the, the, the nozzle checks one above each other. Now if the nozzle checks are missing from different places each time, it's possible that you have either ink starvation or air is getting into the system. Now later on in the movie we will deal with the other situation where you have the same area missing each time. But this is very important. Can you see here? You've got an area here which is missing in nozzle check one, an area here which is missing in nozzle check two, and an area here, and they're, they're, they're clearly in different places. So we're looking at ink starvation or air getting into the system. 
So step one, ensure that we have sufficient ink in our reservoirs. Now let's look at this reservoir here and we can see we've got plenty of ink in the reservoirs. We advise that you should keep your reservoirs topped up to an average of over 50% full at all times and never let your reservoirs drop to below 20% of their full capacity. In our language, we, we reckon that once the, once the, uh, the level drops to just above where the, just above where the labels are, that's the time to refill your reservoirs to bring them back to a, to a full condition. If you let all of your ink levels drop down too low, your printer is working harder to pull the ink up to the print head height and ink starvation may result. Step two, make sure that your ink breathers on top of your ink reservoirs are clear. Now here we've actually got one to show you where the breather is, f is full up with ink. Now this one here, let's show you a breather that's full up with ink. You can actually see that and it's a horrible nasty black black breather that's full up with ink. Now that will not allow this tank to breathe. The rest of these breathers and this is a this is a clear breather. You can see that that there. Now that will allow air to pass through without allowing uh, uh, any evaporation. Whereas that other nasty, horrible uh, uh, breather, full of black ink, that won't allow any ink to pass. And of course, it will prevent air. It will prevent the ink from flowing up the. Uh, up, up the feed tubes. So that's the second step. Make sure that your ink breathers on top of your ink reservoirs are clear. If in any doubt, remove them and try printing again. Step three, make sure that your ink is traveling up the feeder tubes without any air gaps uh, or bubbles. If you see bubbles in the line, now we've actually rigged this one up so you can actually see some bubbles in the line. Uh, if you see bubbles in the line, either your reservoirs are partially empty, maybe the tube connection at the base of your reservoir, or the connector which joins the tube with the cartridge, so that's this bit here, so it's either this bit here that may be faulty, or in this case, now I can safely turn this one upside down, you may have a problem with the, with the seal underneath here. So you need to check that and I'll show you how we do that, how we actually turn, turn the, the system upside down shortly. So uh, we make sure that the ink is travelling up the feeder tubes without air gaps or bubbles. Now um, if you see bubbles in the line, either your reservoirs are partially empty, as we've mentioned, maybe the tube connection at the base of the reservoir uh, is faulty, or the connector that actually joins the tube onto the, onto the cartridge may be faulty. Now, it's in, in which case you contact your supplier and they'll send you, or will send you, a new little connector. Let's take this out to show you what the, what the connector looks like. So we'll pull that out. It's just a push fit. So you've got a little, you've got a little uh, a grommet there and a push fit there that actually goes into the, actually goes into the cartridge. Let's grab that out and show you properly. So you've actually got the cartridge. There's the, there's the hole, you push the grommet in first of all and then you actually, you actually push the, it's a push fit and it makes a nice airtight and watertight seal there. Now that may be failing in which case it's, a, it's easy to replace that little piece. 